Hey guys, I'm Rich Woods from Neo Win. They were talking about Windows 10 for PCs, build 14.279. Now there actually are a few new features here, which is pretty nice because we've seen a few Redstone builds that don't have any new features. So it is nice to, to see some new ones here. Um, Cortana is now available in more languages, um, including Mexican, Spanish, uh, Portuguese in Brazil, um, and French Canadian. Uh, so if you're using Windows 10 Insider Preview and you speak any of these languages, now you can use Cortana. Um, I'm not going to switch my, my language to demo because everybody knows that's pretty much the oldest trick in the book to, to, um, to switch somebody's language and then they don't recognize anything. Um, next up is Cortana remembers things for you. Now, um, reminders aren't really anything new with Cortana, but... Um, this is what, what they suggest. Um, Cort hey Cortana, remind me. Hey Cortana, remind me to read Game of Thrones later. Here's what I got. Okay, thanks. All right, so you can edit it. Um, person, place, or time. Uh, like they say, you have to. You have the option to set specific details like location, time, and people at a later time. So that Cortana will surface it when it's most relevant. Um, you can also do it when you're dictating the reminder to Cortana. You can say, remind me to read Game of Thrones at 8 o'clock tonight. You can say, remind me. And obviously, it doesn't have to be a book. <laughs> obviously, remind me to watch the car is another example they gave. Um, but it's really just about reminders. We also have an updated logon experience. Previously on PC, there were two separate screens. There was the lock screen and the logon screen. They're merging that so there's just a single background. There's just the lock screen background. So you can see, um, I was a little surprised to see it because I didn't really read the notes before I installed the build. I was in kind of a hurry. But we can see that it is the same screen. We also have performance and candidate improvements in Japanese IME. Uh, we have improved performance of IME, especially on typing response. So your typing experience will be smoother than before. We also extended our prediction content and you can select wider variety of candidates from prediction candidate list. All right, so I don't use anything that's Japanese and I really can't demo that. Okay, so they also noted Sway integration in the Photos app. Now this is something that they announced yesterday. It should be available. I did update the app. Um, there was an update in the store. Now, you're supposed to be able to go into an album. Down here you'll have share your album or add or remove photos. And then there should be another one that says tell your story with Sway. Um, there is no update available in the store now. If I'm doing something wrong or if I'm doing it right and it's just working for you and not me, let me know in the comments. Um, I'd love to know because um, from everything I've read, I'm doing everything right and the option's just not there for me yet. Maybe it's a slow rollout. I don't know. Um, but that's what it is uh, for, for now. Um, they also noted uh, March updates in the Xbox beta app. Now, that's also not new with this build. You don't need this build. By the way, you don't need this build to do either of them. You don't need um, to, to use Sway integration with the Photos app or, or to use the Xbox beta app. You can use the Xbox beta app with regular old Windows 10, okay? Um, but there, there are a few notable features um, coming to the Xbox beta app. Gamer score leaderboard. By the way, um, they, they've been adding monthly, monthly features, which is fantastic because build is going to be huge compared to this. Um, they're adding little social features. And if you're not really into social gaming, this isn't going to help you. You know, so it's, it's, it's really, I mean, build is going to, there's going to be some huge features coming soon. So to get to this gamer score leaderboard, you would go to the achievement section of the app and here you have it. Yeah, so that's new. Um, that just came out this week. Again, you don't need the insider preview. Um, the updated featured section is new as well. So there's also a couple other new features. Now these came to the Xbox One preview as well as the Xbox beta app. 16 person party chat, I'm not gonna demo that, I'm not gonna do a 16 person party chat. Um, also, Xbox 360 achievements in Xbox One and Xbox app activity feeds. So that's nice, they're, they're combining the achievements into, into the app and 
Better Xbox 360 support is awesome. All right. Uh, follow web links and YouTube videos from game hubs. Community managers of game hubs will now be able to populate game hubs with web and YouTube hyperlinks, links, making the game hubs experience even more interactive and engaging for gamers. Um, compare your avatar in Xbox One preview shortly and releasing to the Xbox Avatars app later this month. You'll be able to compare your avatar with your friend's avatar. You can click through a specific friend's avatar, preview your avatar's clothing, accessories, and props on your avatar. Um, looks like it's the Xbox Avatars app, not necessarily the, the Xbox beta app. If anybody knows more on that, let me know. Um, again, I'm always, a, and here's where you would, you would start that 16-person party. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, there's, by the way, we're still talking about this Windows 10 build. There's a lot to talk about here. Um, now we have fixes and known issues. We fixed an issue where Microsoft Edge and Cortana were crashing for users with roaming profiles. We fixed an issue where Cortana would continue to show reminders that have been completed. And I can tell you I have experienced this and it's the most frustrating thing in the world when it just starts giving you notifications over and over and over for stuff that have already been interacted with. Uh, we fixed an issue where items copied, moved to the desktop, would not display until the desktop is manually refreshed by right-clicking on the desktop and choosing refresh or pressing F5. So they fixed that. We fixed an issue where downloading certain drivers from Windows 8, uh, Windows Update was causing some PCs to blue screen. Nothing I can really demo here. Um, uh, known issues. We're investigating an issue in which some Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 4, and Surface Book devices experience a freeze or a hang, and all inputs such as keyboard, trackpad, and touch do not work. Um, wow, that is a really rough one. The workaround is to hold down the power button to force the device to hard reboot. Um, luckily, this is a Surface Pro. Um, unluckily, that, that I can't demo it for you, but luckily in that, I don't have to experience that issue on my daily driver. Um, we are continuing to track several issues reported by insiders where some PCs will freeze or blue screen when resuming from hibernation. Disabling hibernation is a workaround in some cases until this is fixed. Um, other known issues are known issues that we saw with the last build. Um, if you have Kaspersky antivirus, internet security, or the Kaspersky total security suite installed on your PC, there's a known driver bug that prevents these programs from working as expected and builds from the development branch. Uh, they're partnering with Kaspersky to fix the issue. Um, turning on the always show all notifications in the notification area setting disrupts the layout of the notification area. Um, yeah, I'll show this up it, because it doesn't really go away even after you turn it off. Um, I was going to refer you to my last video for this, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll just do it. <laughs> we would do that by going to Notification and Actions, um, select which icons appear in the taskbar, always show, show all icons in the notification area, and you see we get this little thing down here, um, I guess that that's what they're saying. It disrupts. It happens last time, and you notice that it doesn't really go away even after you turn it off. Um, it will go away when you upgrade to the to the next build. And assuming that it's not a known issue in the next build, I won't have to bring it back. <laughs> um, anyway, the final known issue is we are seeing reports of crashes with apps such as QQ crashing due to an OS reliability issue. We are currently investigating. This bug is also impacting older apps such as Windows Live, Mail, and Expression Encoder 4. Again, this was an issue with the last build. Hopefully, it'll be fixed with the next one. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Rich Woods from NeoWint. Have a fantastic night.